In Owensboro today, Kentucky Wesleyan College announces its next president, and it's someone familiar to the campus. Eyewitness News Sydney Davis talked with the new president and tells us what to expect as the school makes the transition. President-elect James Cousins says going for the position felt like a natural fit. And with his experience and student-first mentality, he hopes the community feels the same. I love Kentucky Wesleyan College, love Owensboro. My family really feels home here. Come 2025, Kentucky Wesleyan College's provost and vice president of academic affairs will trade his two titles in for one. President Dr. James Cousins says his roles may have changed over the years, but his mission is the same. I started as a, uh, a teacher and then worked my way into administration through academic advising. So I've always had a student first perspective and that's really carried me through my uh, graduate career and then, you know, as a uh, instructor at various colleges. The college will say goodbye to its current president, Dr. Thomas Mitzel, in December, and he'll guide cousins in the in-between for a seamless transition. In January, Mitzel shared his thoughts on who he should pass the baton to. Somebody who cares about higher education, understands the importance of liberal education, liberal arts education, the fact that our, our graduates, not just at Kentucky Wesleyan College, but everywhere, change jobs every two and a half years. They need to be flexible. The president-elect mirrored those same goals for the Panthers. I think it's important to understand what the community is looking for and what our students are looking for, and that is job readiness, vocational preparedness, and getting students ready for careers that may not exist presently, but will in the next five to 20 to 30 years. And that's what we really excel at, is that, that preparation, that adaptability. He says a college is only as strong as its community, and he's honored to have the opportunity to be a part of this one. And that's everything from the Chamber of Commerce to our industry leaders, and our civic leaders, to they're all focused on growth, but responsible growth. And, and we're here as partners. In Owensboro, Sydney Davis, Eyewitness News.